and welcome to another AMBOSS tutorial. In this video, we'll show you how to perform an alcohol-based surgical disinfection. Before you get started, remove all jewelry and accessories from your hands and wrists. You should wash your hands before the first operation of the day and if your hands are visibly dirty. Wet your hands and forearms with water and rub once thoroughly with regular soap. Pay particular attention to your fingertips and nails. If your nails are visibly dirty, clean them with a brush and a nail pick. Then, wash the soap off completely. If the faucet isn't sensor activated, use your elbow to turn off the water. Dry your hands and forearms thoroughly with paper towels. Remember, antiseptics will only work properly if your skin is completely dry. Now it's time for surgical disinfection. There are three simple steps which take about three minutes to complete. Step one, using your right elbow, dispense at least four doses of alcohol-based hand rub onto your left hand. Don't worry if it drips. Next, hold the fingertips of your right hand together and rub them against the left palm in a circular motion. Then use your left hand to spread the hand rub over your right forearm from the wrist to two inches above your elbow, ensuring that all sides are covered. Step two, repeat for the left side. Dispense at least four doses of hand rub into your right hand. Disinfect the fingertips of your left hand and spread the hand rub over your left forearm, from the wrist to two inches above the elbow, ensuring that all sides are covered. Do not go over your disinfected forearms again. Step three, dispense more hand rub onto one of your hands. Start by rubbing the palms together, then with your fingers interlaced. Then rub the back of one hand against the palm of the other, then with the fingers interlaced and switch. Now, rub the backs of your fingers onto the opposite palm. Finally, grasp the thumb of one hand with the fingers and palm of the other and twist. Then switch. Dispense more hand rub if your hands dry before you've completed all the steps. Unfortunately, if you accidentally touch something that's non-sterile, you'll have to start over again, so be careful. Now that your hands are disinfected, keep them at chest height and a safe distance away from your body and surroundings while they dry. Make sure that your hands and forearms are completely dry before donning a gown and gloves. Check out our other tutorials for step-by-step -step instructions on gowning and gloving here. Also, check out the AMBOSS article for more tips on working in the OR. See you next time.